Hey guys, as guys here. Guess it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, uh, and whilst I do try and get videos out there as quickly as and as much as possible, uh, from often and not as much this year, but especially last year, um, a lot of the time I just don't have the time. One of the reasons I've not been able to get any videos out is because I've been doing some really heavy duty work on the novel that I'm writing. I think I briefly mentioned this a while back, uh, you might remember, because I had the squeaky voice, uh, and how could you not remember that? But basically the problem with that was that I basically wrote nothing, um, and the reason for that is that my organisation skills are absolutely awful, like seriously awful. This year, however, with my A-levels and whatnot, I've kind of got a lot better control over everything, I think, and uh, the reason for that is that if I don't have any control, I'm going to fail. And that also means I picked up reading again. Whoop whoop for a healthy mind. If you are an aspiring writer, or just kind of do it as a hobby, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do it as both. Like, I'm not expecting to be the next JK Rowling, uh, but I do enjoy it. And if something good comes out of it, then I guess there's a lot of weight on the scales. Uh, so I do really recommend that you start reading again. For me, that's mainly thanks to George R. R. Martin. And you may remember that I finished the series not long before Christmas. And then not long after that, I uh, picked up the entire book set. And I am about 150 pages off of finishing, which is pretty good in my eyes. So my advice for getting back into reading is to just not make it a task. Don't read something because you feel like you have to read them because everybody's read the books and I'm not a real fan. Read them because you want to. Most of the time I read them on the bus. Uh, that's about an hour trip there and back again. So for me, I'm on the bus twice a day for about an hour or so. Um, and I put my phone on silent, put it in my pocket and just kind of get rid of my entire surrounding. And I can just that way get through it. Uh, I usually chew something, mint or chewing gum, uh, because quite a lot of time the words start to blend together after a while. Um, so that just keeps me concentrated. I know there are people out there that still read, so don't think I'm saying that. If you do still read, that's good. Keep it up. Strangely though, I've never actually struggled to concentrate on my writing. And I think that's because I love writing. English is probably my favourite subject. And the moment I'm doing creative writing, and English literature in my A-levels. So I think they're helping to spur me on, keep me writing, and uh, I have noticed that I'm actually getting into like the flow of words a lot easier than before. When I am writing, I take a lot of influence from music, film, TV, you know, all your sort of regular sort of stuff. But I think when you can actually take it directly from text, it's much better. And you'll notice that in your writing, it slowly becomes a culmination of all the sort of stuff you read. Another thing I've done recently is made an account on Wattpad, and if you've not got that, then I seriously suggest you get it. I just wanted to get it because I've never really used anything like this before, and it helps me get in ideas, uh, encouraging my reading further, and I can just share my own stuff on there really easily. The thing I'm actually working on at the moment isn't going on Wattpad, and the reason for that is that the scope of it is just huge. Probably because I'm way too ambitious, but I do a lot of changing to that all the time, and I really do a lot of refining so it's going to take a lot of time before I actually think that's acceptable enough for anybody apart from a select few to actually see it but I have just posted the first part of something called Corvell a couple of days ago and that was the original idea actually uh, for what I'm writing at the moment. Corvell is almost exactly the same as what I had it before I didn't want to do a lot of changing for it so I think that's great because you can add things part by part on Wattpad so then I can actually see how my writings change like over a long period of time. Anyway go follow me on Wattpad that's at his cactus and I'll put the link in the description below. I'm constantly adding parts to that story because I can just kind of type it on my phone whenever I've got a spare couple of minutes. Doesn't mean it'll take a lot longer sort of uh, process wise because um, I'm only doing it sort of part by part. Uh, but at the same time, I guess it's also kind of quicker because I'm putting it straight out of my head. I'm not constantly refining it, changing it or whatever. Other great thing about it is that because you can give feedback for people's stories, that means the writer can then change the direction of their story um, so that the readers are either getting something they don't expect or something they really want, which I think is pretty cool too. If you are currently writing something, then I massively advise you to get Wattpad or something similar. There's loads of things on the Google Play Store that you can get. I'm sure there's loads of stuff on the uh, Apple App Store too. Uh, and there's loads of sites that you can sign up to as well, which are all sort of in a similar vein. Um, and I just think it really helps with reading and writing. Um, my third and final tip for writing is don't stress yourself out about it. Take a break, have a Kit Kat, scroll through Wattpad, have coffee. I love coffee. Have so much coffee. Drink all the coffee. Anyway, the point is that you'll feel a lot better about your work and hopefully you'll feel as inspired as a unicorn. 
Because unicorns are inspiring. I was going somewhere with this. That's about it, I think. Uh, just some kind of tips of mind for writing and just kind of a general update. Uh, so thanks for watching and adios, amigos. Hello, right, I'm here and I'm doing a bit of a different video today. This is uh, what I'm gonna call Spotlight. I think just because it came into my head about five seconds ago and I think it sounds cool. Thanks for watching as always and please go and subscribe to my friend Keo Sarat. You can find one of his videos somewhere around me as well as a very awesome face swap of me and a puppet monkey because why not? Um, also my Wattpad, that'll be in the description below as well as my Instagram as always. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and adios amigos. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'll give a